Okay, I had a question from a viewer to, that wanted to know what my setup was to get N1MM to work with the ICOM 7300. So I'm going to show you my setup. Um, everything is here. It's pretty simple. It's There's not a lot to it. All I have is USB cable. No other cables go to my computer. USB to USB computer. In case you ever screw up your settings, all you have to do is go to menu, set, down, others, Reset, all reset, hit next and finish that. It will put all the defaults back in there. I've actually done that quite a bit. Um, whenever something isn't quite working right and I just want to restart, I, I'll do that. Now we're going to look at the settings for the N1MM. So I hit menu, set, up here to connectors. Let's go to the top. Start at the top. These settings may not be most ideal. You can play with these if you want to, but they're working for me. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm setting this up with N1MM to do CW coding. Um, and I'll show you how that works at towards the end. Okay. So at the top we've got ACC USB AF output level 50%. Most of these are the default, by the way. AF, AF squelch, off, open, off. Second page, 50, 50, 50 mic accessory. I believe that's what ACC means as accessory. I'm not sure. Data mode USB. That's very important. This is one you'll probably be changing the most whenever you're messing around. USB serial function CIV. 9600 baud rate. RTS DTR DTR. Now that's all you have to do and worry about to get this working. Now when you have this USB thing for the first time, you're going to need to install the driver. And that is the beyond the scope of what I'm trying to show here. I'm just trying to show you my settings. But if you go to here to computer management and hit computer management in Windows 10, you go to device manager, you can come down here and see your COM ports. These are this is pretty much all your hardware. You should see the Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART bridge. Notice it says COM3. This was a driver that I installed a long time ago, but this has to be working. Just make sure this is there. And you'll notice I'm at COM3. Now, of course, you should have installed N1MM software, November 1 Mike Mike. And this software is very good contesting software. It's also, it does the CW for you. If you click these buttons, it will send CW Morse code for you. So if we come up here to config, all I had to do was go to configure ports. Now notice that it's got COM3 up here and there's nothing else. So that's all I've got plugged in. Um, you should have an IC7300 here, which I've chosen. CW other. And I hit set. Now in the COM3 settings, we'll see that we've got a speed of 9600, which matches the radio as, we, as I just showed you. Parity in, 8 bits 8, stop bits 1, DTR pin CW, push to talk 94 1, and everything else is 30, and then push to talk via radio SSB mode. That's all I had to do to get this running. Now let's take a work and look and make sure it works. So now I have my power settings. My power settings at zero. I'm not transmitting. And if I hit uh, exchange it's transmitting right now we take a look at that on the radio so I'm going to click the button again you can see that it's transmitting it's doing everything for you N1MM is a very good software